Most businessmen do not make it in business. And the reason, of course, is why. And the answer is quite fascinating. You will see that for business to succeed, there are many, many, many parts that must work. And habitually, all business owners make one mistake. And that mistake would be explained very well by looking at uh, an example from basketball. So there was this um, player, his name is Dwight Howard, and he was like, he, he's a huge guy, like uh, two, two point something meter high, two point something meter wide, two point something meter thick, huge, strong, Unbelievable. He is so strong that um, he was, uh, he was, he once jumped over another uh, player and uh, the media called him Superman, like super strong. However, uh, in one of his uh, last games in the NBA, uh, his um, team lost the, the last game and uh, the media asked him, what are you going to do? And he said, um, tomorrow, 6 a.m., I'm going to move into the gym and I'm going to train and train and train and train and train. And um, what's happened with the Duet Howard is that he deteriorated and deteriorated and deteriorated to a point where almost no team wanted him. And he made the mistake that every single business owner habitually making. What is the mistake? The mistake is that the business owners and him thought that they need to be technically very good. They need to develop what they are already good at. So if you have a very good product, you want to make your product better, cheaper. You, you really, if you are, a, let's say, a dentist, you want to become a better dentist and you study more and you invest more in your knowledge. And the problem is not in that area. This area, this technical ability is 14% of the whole business. The majority of the business 86% of the business is many, many, many other parts. In the case of Duet Harvard, is uh, his uh, assist, his different things. How is he handling his um, team, uh, communication, many other areas that are in a basketball team, which by the way is exactly like a business, seven areas, each one of them has to be perfectly run. And the, le the less areas you are controlling, the less successful you will be. And most business owners have the technical side as very good. They're very good chiropractor. They're very good nail technician. They're very good hairdresser. They're very good salesperson, but one area out of seven. So even if in that area, there will be God, they will fail. So what is the handling? The handling, of course, is to invest in the rest of the areas as much as you invested in learning your trade, in learning your craft, in becoming so good technically in the area that you are good at. And how do you do that? Well, I'm going to start something that I call the business class. A business class is a series of about 50 lessons every week, a live lesson that I will deliver in Cape Town and it will be streamed online to members of this uh, group of the business class. Um, every month I will take one area of the business and teach you that area. And then the next month I will teach you the next area and how is it all connected. And within seven months we will go through all the areas. And then in the remaining five months we will drill and drill and drill and learn some tips and tricks on how to print money, how to become successful. So if you are interested in learning how to print money, join the business class. Mayor Ezra, a piece of super important truth for you.